In this video, we'll look at the phrasal verb break up and show you a number of its different meanings. The phrasal verb break up can mean to separate or divide something into smaller parts. You might need to divide some tasks among your co-workers. Why don't we break up the tasks between us? That way, we will get more done. An old car has just broken down. The mechanic is trying to help. The car can't be fixed. But we can break up the parts and try to sell them. A group of people are searching for a missing child. If we break up and search different areas, we will have a better chance of finding him. Break up can also mean to end a relationship with a romantic partner. Two friends are talking together. I am thinking of breaking up with David. He is not very supportive of my career. Someone in work has been very sad lately. And you ask, what has been going on? My wife and I have decided to break up. It's making me very stressed and unhappy. Break up can also refer to ending a meeting or gathering when the people involved leave. A friend is telling you about a wedding they went to. The party went on long into the night. It didn't start to break up until 4.30 in the morning. A meeting is coming to an end because someone else needs to use the room. I think we need to break up this meeting now. Someone else has booked this room. The facilitator of a training course has noticed all the participants are early. If we get started now, we can break up for lunch at 12. If you break up from school or university, for example, it means to finish the term and begin holidays. A student is asking about the university holidays as she wants to go travelling. The lecturer replies, We break up for summer on the 12th of June. A professor warns his class not to relax too much over the midterm. Even though we break up for the midterm in February, you have an exam when you return to class in March. A student who is working, studying and has a young child says, I can't wait until we break up for the holidays. I really need a break. If you say someone is breaking up on a call, it means there is a bad signal and you can only hear parts of what they are saying. A friend can't hear you on a phone call. I'm going to ring you back later. 
you keep breaking up. A customer is complaining to the phone company. You need to fix this. Every time I'm on a call, the other person is breaking up. It's ridiculous. A friend is worried because her call got disconnected. Andrew said he wanted to talk about something important, but then the call broke up. I hope he's okay. To break up can also mean to lose control of your emotions, leading you to laugh or cry uncontrollably. Someone is telling you about the sad film they saw at the weekend. I broke up watching the film about the family being separated during the war. I couldn't stop myself from crying. Something funny happened and you couldn't stop laughing. When my manager fell over during the presentation, I just broke up laughing. Luckily, the client saw the funny side too. You lost control in the office after receiving bad news. I'm sorry for breaking up in the office earlier. I had just found out my dog had died. So, to sum up, break up can mean to separate or divide something into smaller parts. For example, to break up a car into parts and sell them. To end a relationship with a romantic partner. To break up with your boyfriend. To end a meeting or gathering when the people involved leave. The police arrived to break up the party. To finish a school term and begin holidays. To break up for the midterm. To have a bad signal on a phone call so you can hear parts of what someone is saying. I can't hear you very well. You're breaking up. To lose control of your emotions so you laugh or cry uncontrollably. I broke up when I heard the bad news. Don't forget to like or comment on our video. For downloadable comics and mind maps, write-ups and more, visit EnglishLogica.com and join our growing community of English learners.